Hey, it's Professor Dave. And in, in a previous video, I showed you kind of how to build an app, take a Google Sheet and have the app display, you know, all the rows of the sheet in kind of a grid form. Um, and we've got that going here. What I want to show you now is how to add a second screen. And this is going to be the information screen. So like it's going to give all the information for a single person, right? So there, you know, the user is going to click on one of those pictures and see all the information for one person. And so we'll call this the info screen. And we're going to just kind of drag and drop the components for this guy. So we'll need a label. And this is going to be, I'm going to actually rename this guy. Um, this is going to be the um, name label because we're going to put the person's name in this in this spot we won't worry about how it looks for now uh, we need an image to show the, the the picture of the person and i want to make this just bigger here okay we can kind of center make sure at least the name is centered and the picture is centered let's see there you go um so we got a name the picture and then finally we need a description so I'm going to bring up one more label and I'm going to make this guy a little bit bigger. And there's a couple, you know, one little thing with the description is it might have multiple lines and let's, let's go ahead and rename this guy description label, or I'll just call it DS, DSC label, disc, desk label. <laughs> image we'll just leave because there's only one image. So we don't have to worry about naming it too well. Uh, but I do want to come down for this label and um just uh oh sorry that's the screen but if i click on label i just want to make sure that it can have multiple lines so i'm going to just say it's going to have i don't know six lines okay and that's important if 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 your text might be too big to fit on on, on one line so this is what my screen's gonna gonna look like of course there's nothing that's going to show up there right right now right and that's where we're going to have to use code blocks um, to actually get some data in there. Okay, so here's my info screen. I'm gonna go to blocks and just to get started, um, I'm gonna start with info screen and I need the win info screen dot open. So when you code blocks in Thunkable, the first thing you do is kind of do an event handler block, a win block. And it's basically when something happens, what do you want to occur? What actions do you want to take? And it's a, it's the fundamental coding construct. Okay, so in this case, when this info screen opens up, I want to show some some information, right? I want to show a particular person. All right, so that's cool. I'm going to do that. And what I want to do is I want to set the name label, and I'm going to set its text. Okay, so every label has a text property, which is what text is gonna appear there. And I wanna set it to something. And what I'm gonna do is scroll down and I can find my data source here, right? And I'm gonna go down and I wanna, I wanna basically get a value from my, from my spreadsheet, okay? And so I'm gonna grab this, this thing and I'm taking it from the spreadsheet, superstar seven sheet one. I want the name, but I need a row ID here. And that's, that's where we're going to have to do a little extra work to get that row ID. It's kind of weird. If you have a spreadsheet, um, no, sorry, wrong, wrong window. When you have a spreadsheet, you've got all your columns, right? And your column headers. There's also another column that's kind of hidden in every sheet, which is the ID. And it's, a, it's like a long you know, text ID. And it's kind of you know generated automatically by the by the by the system. Okay, but just think of there's another column hidden called ID in every sheet, and you don't have to create that column; it's just there. Okay, and that's what we're going to want to use here as as we as we go 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 through this. So we're going to want to set the name label. We're going to want to set the image um, picture, and what we're going to do is. Once again, we want to grab it from the sheet, um, but in this case, we want the pick column. Okay, uh, Thunkable, you know, does a nice job. Once you set your data source, it analyzes it 
And that way you can just kind of choose which columns you want. You don't have to remember them or type them in or anything like that. And then finally, the description label, we want to do almost the same thing here, but we want to get this value. Okay, so, but somehow we need to stick a, a row ID in here and, and definitely this default thing's not going to, not going to work for us. And in fact, you know, if we run it right now, it would just show a, a, a blank screen. Okay, so let's go back to, to screen one and we're going to have to do some work over here. Remember, this is the screen that shows all our stuff. First thing we're going to do is add a button or no, we don't need a button, but when you click on one of these pictures, we're going to want to open the info screen. Okay, so we're going to code an event handler to make, make that happen. And what I'm going to do is go to blocks. And on this data viewer grid, there's this event called item click. And that means, oh, the user has clicked one of those items. So when the user clicks one of the items in the grid, what do we want to do? Oh, that's pretty easy. We want to navigate. So I'm going to go to the control folder and choose this navigate and notice it says navigate to screen one. Well, what we want to do is navigate to the info screen. Okay, so, you know, when the user clicks on this button, we want to go to the info screen and we're doing that, but it's not showing our stuff right now. Okay, so back to editing and you'll notice in this event handler, when someone clicks an item in the grid, it gives you this piece of information, which is the ID of which row in the spreadsheet got clicked. Okay, um, so this is nice. Remember, we need this. The problem is we need to get this piece of information to the info screen so it can use it. And this is where in coding, we've got these things called variables. And when you hear the name variable, think of a, a memory cell almost like a spreadsheet cell, but it's a named memory cell and you can put something in it. All right. And I'm going to go over to this variables folder and I'm going to say, oh, you know, I need a new variable. I need a memory cell. I need to remember something. And I'm going to call this row. And, you know, I'll just start off with some default value zero. Okay. But really what I'm going to do is when they click this item, I'm going to grab this event parameter and which tells me which ID of the spreadsheet got chosen and I'm going to set my variable to it. Okay, so I'm going to say, oh, set my variable row to the row ID. And notice I click right on that green thing and drag over. Okay, so just slow down just a second here. Let me slow down a second. So variables are, oh, I need a, I need to remember something. So I have to initialize this variable called row first. Um, when an event happens, sometimes it tells me stuff, but that stuff can't be accessed from the other screen. So I need to stick it somewhere. And what I'm gonna do is stick it in this variable called row and the other screen will be able to get to that variable too. Even though it's initialized over here on the other screen, I'll be able to access the variable row. So I'm basically saying, oh, they, they clicked on the row ID XYZ24, stick that in my little memory cell, go to the info screen, and then on the info screen, I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna, you know, instead of putting this default ID in here, what I wanna do is go over to my variables and I can say, oh, here's app variable row. Let's grab a, a get, you know, basically go get me what's in that variable. Um, and then I'm going to copy that. I just did command C and command V to copy. And I'm saying, you know what, let's go get the, the row that was chosen when the, when the user cho chose the right item. Okay. Now let's, let's test this out. See how we're doing. I click on web preview. I choose one of the women and indeed, um, it's showing me the right name, the right picture. The description's a little bit off, but at least it's it it showed me the right one. Let's just test that a little bit again. Um, let's run it again. If I chose Jennifer, does Jennifer come up? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So back uh, to editing. I just have one little bug, and I think I know what it is. Um, when I do my description, I forgot to change the column, and in fact, 
I want the column description from the spreadsheet. Um, and I think that's going to fix my, my problem. So uh, to test, make sure to go back to screen one to test, run it. And now if I click on Jennifer, it's going to show me her name, her picture, and then it gives me this description down, down here. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just, you know, just clean the, the, the visibility up a little bit for the info screen. Um, let's make this name wider. And the drag and drop's nice, right? Um, and let's just make sure it's centered. So see that red line that pops up? It's saying, oh, you're centered to the screen. Um, this guy, uh, this image, I want to do a, a couple things. I'm going to, instead of stretching, which could make the image look weird, I'm just going to make it cover. Okay. And then this label down here, let's also just make it wider. And let's make sure it centers. There we go. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be perfect, but let's let's try it. If I run it, um, whoops, sorry. Remember before you run, let's start on screen one. And now if I run, choose Tara, and there we're we're getting a lot a lot better. Okay, I'll do one more kind of editing thing. When you have a label, uh, notice it's kind of left justified, and I can do text align and I can choose center. Okay, so now if I run this, and I could do the same for description, but if I run this, uh, sorry, back to editing, go to screen one and run it. And now I think Tara's name will be centered when, when I run that thing. Okay, all right. So anyway, we've got kind of um, a, a info screen now. We connected it from screen one and we used a variable to kind of remember which person was chosen or the row ID of that person. And then in the info screen, we grabbed that information from that variable so we could show the right person on the in info screen. Okay, so the last part of, of kind of building this uh, tech superstar uh, info screen app is we wanna be able to get from the info screen back to the home screen. It's pretty easy. So on the info screen, we want to put a button and I just need to choose my designer here and I need to choose button and I'm just going to put it kind of near the bottom. And you can put a little icon in for the for this, like it's basically to get back home. So you might put a home icon, um, but I'm just going to type in the, the word home here and I'm going to rename this button the home button. Okay, and the reason I rename it is so when I go over to the blocks, I'll kind of know which one I'm talking about. So descriptive names are good. And I usually give it a, a name, descriptive name like home, and then always end it with the component name, or in this case, a button. So now I go over to blocks and um, I'm going to do another uh, event handler, right? So on the event, when the user clicks the home button, and this one's pretty straightforward. I go to control and I just want to basically go to a different screen. I want to go to screen one. Okay. And so I think if I test this, um, oops, sorry, go back to Ed team. Remember when you test, which I never remember, go to screen one, um, click on preview. There's our app. Let's choose one of the women. Let's show Katherine Johnson, the NASA mathematician. And if we scroll down a little bit, we should see our home button and we can click to get back home. Okay, cool. So we've, this, this is our, um, basically the, the app for tech superstars and, uh, check out the next video. Cause I'll do a little chalk talk and kind of go over some of the concepts, um, we learned here.